All right. Back here for the top eight match. Winner of this match moves on. Loser of this match gets uh, eighth place tournament money and eighth place auction money. Ryan McGarry up at the table here. Ryan's a 466 Fargo. Uh, Jason Showers here now. Jason could have a 2-9 combo possibility here. Like Jason going for a safe here, a possible back cut. Nice stroke.
what happened? Oh, I see. I got it. Okay, great. So, sorry for the delay. Did your horse win? No, he actually lost Hill Hill on the live stream. Um, it was a really good match. They both play real good. He's still in it, though, but I appreciate you. <laughs> All right, so who do we got? Very helpful. Thank you. Julio's a great chat. Oh, I've, I've commentated on Julio's matches before. And I've always had an admiration for his game. Now, I will tell you right now, Jason Shower, shameless plug, because I am cursed on Scarella. Uh, he does have a Toscarella custom Q shirt on underneath that uh, that black and yellow shirt that you see there, and he's going to be the proud owner of one hopefully shortly here. So that's that's interesting. Um, Rafi, how you doing, Michael? Are you still listening? Talk to me, folks. Let's uh, let's get this going. The score right now. Let me put this up on my screen here. It's still zero zero. Okay, so this first rack. Sorry, I was at my. All right, so he's got to, he's got to play the rail 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 right. We can't just baby this ball. I don't think he did everything I think I've said today. They've been me wrong, but I don't know. I still I would have liked the rail. I don't really like trying to hold balls like that. I don't know if y'all agree or not, but sometimes it's more difficult to try to hold a ball than to just let it rip. But he's got a good chance to make the nine ball in the bottom right hand corner pocket. He does. He rolls it in. Good job. So, Jason Showers has won. This is on the loser side. So, it is a race to four against Ryan McGarry. Um, I'm not sure if either of the players are, like, thoroughly established on Fargo. So, I'm going to bring up my app here. If you don't have the Fargo app, it's good to have, um, you know, especially when you're degenerate like me and like to look up people that you play <laughs> uh, for anybody that was messaging me i'm sorry my phone died um it's just coming up right now all right so looks like he's gearing up to break it correctly so the four ball that you see that part of the rack here should go right into the corner if he breaks it from where the cue ball is right now. He doesn't have to hit that hard. He doesn't have to kill it, right? But we should see the four ball go to the top right-hand corner pocket on the table. Let's see. Here we go. It's going to happen. Leave the cue ball on this side of the table. Where is breaking from? That's what we got to do. Oh, look, four ball went right in. I tell you what, right? You think I'm a fortune teller. What's up? I just said when they break it correctly, the wing ball goes in every single time. Every time. Every time. <laughs> With the magic card. Every time, every time. Hey, Rafi, I get it too. I'm still at the matches over here at the wall. I'm like <laughs> jumping out of my skin most of the time. Um, it's a lot of fun though. Do you have a favorite Rafi here? We got Ryan McGarry. Oh, I was doing something. I'm biased because uh, Jason Showers has that Toscarella custom Q shirt <laughs> underneath <laughs> his jersey. <laughs> so I got to inform. I mean, that only makes exactly. sense, right? I think he said he has one on order. It's coming in he a does. couple months, right? Yeah, I didn't know if he wanted me to drop that bomb on here. But, yeah, he sure does have one on order. He shoots now with a Hersick, which is oh, um, it's very nice. And yeah, Joel's Q's are nice. Very nice. And he's got inlays at the top of the points in his queue. Um if everybody doesn't know what I'm talking about, the way that custom cues are made, they're very traditional. They have points in them. There's four points. If you Google, uh, I think it's like billiard cue diagram. I hate to say it's on Task Girl Custom Cues because I put it there on purpose <laughs> so people could be able to break down the cue. Because when you order a custom cue, you have to know what you're ordering, whether it's the joint, the points, the wood, uh, if you want a full splice, a half splice. Uh, Irish linen wrap, uh, leather wrap, uh, Delaware butt cap, Rambo style. Like those are all different options that you have. So I did put it on our site so that way people can actually visualize it because I don't know if people really understand what goes into custom cue making. But you basically get to to pick every part of the cue that you want. And I mean, it all comes out of cost. Like if you want to use exotic woods, like a, a pink ivory or Brazilian rosewood or tulip wood. Like these are all different woods that you put in a queue and then you take veneers, which are thin slices of wood in different colors, and you kind of combine it all with the wood, and it just it's such an art form. And, oh, I thought he was going to make that ball. 
All right. So Ryan does have an opportunity to get out on this table. Roth said he doesn't know if he knows anybody at the four ninety nine. But you should take a look at the bracket. Oh, we have a finish over here. Ooh, and what was the finish? The finish is David Cope has beaten Alan Wang. Oh, wow. Uh, wow, Alan was playing real good. Two. So that'll put him into the next round. Okay. So that means David Cope is part of the final six? Final the, eight. Final eight. So oh, there's Alan. still another round before the guys yeah. that just lost. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, so Alan now... Uh, so now we're in the final eight. So everybody that is in this tournament now that is left over is Get qualified money. for the U.S. Open Ooh. qualifier tournament. So I love that you're for doing the free that. Spot. Yeah, um, absolutely. And awesome. Back I go. Give it okay. an envelope. I'm gonna be here, uh, Rafi. The wait time for Toscarella. I think right now it's like a year and a half to two years. Um, if you know what you want, I recommend putting deposit down. My father-in-law isn't getting any younger. He's 79 years old. Uh, my husband's 51. <laughs> and uh, and hopefully me, I'll get involved in it one day, but I really hope my son does. He's nine, so he obviously has a lot to learn. But uh, I, I think I already have a waiting list for my son, which is kind of funny to think about. <laughs> All right, so Jason's going to be able to play this five ball on the side here. If he, if he just does a follow uh, he should be able to get good on the six. Now, don't be confused. The six is not the six, the, the blue ball that you see in the middle of the table. The six is actually the gray ball that you're seeing to the left of the nine ball on your screen. So he needs to make sure that he gets on that ball, which is just a little bit of follow. And he could play with a rail. He could play with seven ball on the side. The eight ball goes in the corner. Nine ball goes in the other corner. You play that very well. You just, right now at this point, in this tournament, like I've, as I've said before, there's a lot of people that haven't really played in these type of tournaments a lot. And it's just about keeping your head down and making the ball. It's just you and that ball. Because if you start thinking about everything else that's going on, you're never, ever going to make the ball. Thank you, Greg. Staff here is absolutely amazing. They do have the best month roll six I've ever seen, though. <laughs> but this is really good. You know why this is good? Because he can hit this ball. He doesn't have to stop it. He could stop it. He can go a little forward. He can play with a little bit of an angle, like on the nine. Like, I personally like if I roll this seven ball a little bit forward, I get myself a little bit, I call it like a swing angle, where you can hit the eight, like center ball, and it just kind of stays right in line with the nine ball and play in the other corner pocket. That's how I like it, but we're going to see what happens. Yeah, see, I like that. Um, It's really hard for me to tell. I think he might be straight on it, so he may just opt for a stop shot at this point. Rafi, if you don't have a Toscarella, there's, I can give you 100,000 reasons to justify you getting a Toscarella. You should own one if you haven't in your life. It's just to be able to speak to my husband and my father-in-law about the whole process of making cues is worth it all on its own. So if you're ever in the market for a good experience instead of a good pool cue, but you get a good pool cue too, you might want to give us a call. <laughs> But he just plays stop shot, so he's on this nine ball. Just a matter of making it. There's no real scratch uh, opportunity unless he plays it weird. He makes the nine. He's good. So it's two to zero. Jason Showers is up on Ryan McGarry. And I meant to go ahead and look up a go, and still I have it because I had to charge my phone. I always forget to charge my phone when I'm traveling. All right, Jason Showers, he doesn't have any matches in the day. You can't even rate him. But I would say he's appropriate for this tournament for sure. But he does uh, he does things well. He's got a good mind about it. It's just a matter of uh, being consistent with the execution, I think. Raph, you have three black boars. Where was I yesterday? I was at um, South Jersey Billiards last night, and there was a guy I met there named Vince who was, like, I think way like high up in blackboard which is really funny to me to say because with tosco custom cues it's just my husband and my father-in-law and just me that does advertising public relations whatever you want to call it right um there's no hierarchy or whatnot but this guy i met last night vince he said he was high i think he said in operations or something it was it was a very quick conversation where he's like oh you're drinking that blah, blah, blah. and he said he worked for blackboard Ironically, I, I bought a Witten case. A Vince Sangmeister is who you're talking about. Okay, I think you're right. And I think I remember seeing that last name on the list. 
a really nice guy. He's the guy I talked about earlier um, shaking somebody's hand, and he, like, crushed it before we played. That was Vince. <laughs> I ended up losing that rack because I couldn't stop thinking about how much my hand hurt. Oh, he's Tony's apprentice. Okay. Um, that's so cool. And I think he said that, too, uh, when we were just kind of chit-chatting yesterday. So, small world. I told him I have a Witten case that has a black bore uh, label on it. I, it was just like a one butt two shaft case, but it says you know blackboard the BB on the the uh, like metal plate on it, and I'm in the process of changing it for a Tusker metal plate. But I gotta send that blackboard one somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure somebody appreciate it. I just I can't cheat on my husband, you know. <laughs> Do you have his old cue? Probably with a small world. All right. Let's see what we got Ryan doing here. Ryan's I think thinking about a combo. Yeah, he he didn't play a safe there kind of problem with that chat um so I'm, I'm here by myself i'm gonna take a second just to eat a little bit so i'm here if y'all want to talk to me send questions um just give me a moment i'll be right with you
I meant to do the unmute and I uh, did the applause. <laughs> well, Mr. Ryan needs to gear up. Just make this ball. After you sit for so long and somebody's playing for so long, you just need to kind of get up there and make the ball and not worry about what happens, really. This is a good shot. All right, so we got some love. Now just make this ball, right? Who cares is in the pocket? Who cares is an angle? You make that ball stand on your head. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Ooh. Doesn't that suck when you miss a ball and you leave it absolutely perfect for the person you're playing against? I don't think there's anything worse than that. Worse than what? Missing a ball and leaving it perfect for your opponent. Oh, so you mean Frank Miletti shot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chase <laughs> right. ends up three to zero. Race four always oh, on the hill. Under who? Guys, let's pay the bills again here one more time. Christina Tkach. I'm not sure if you guys know her. She's um, you know, some girl that plays pool. I don't know. You know, some girl. Some oh girl. yeah, I blacked out. I was like, why is he saying some girl? You know, She's like, amazing. Just a 7:30 Fargo who just gets out all the time. All the time. Brutal. Fargo, she looks she like a Russian doll when she yeah. does it. It's amazing. So, uh, Christina came out with this. Uh, it's like a workbook for a pool player. It's actually pretty cool. Got it from my wife, Mindy. You can diagram shots. Uh, it's got all kinds of different things to do. Well, you can see in that picture the diagram yeah, of the table. Yeah, you can see the diagram of the picture. And you um, just shoot that shot a hundred times, a hundred times. You remember it. I messaged her on Facebook. I said I wanted one. I had it within three days. That's amazing. She shipped it out that day. That's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, you know, definitely give her a try. If... Uh, if you're interested in it, give her a message on Facebook. She's great to her fans. She'll yeah. respond right back to you. Oh, she incorporated her. I remember when she was picking that pool name on Facebook. The, uh, the crystal. Not a crystal, the yeah. The crystal, yeah. And I remember people were bringing it up, and I saw the crystal, and I was like, oh, I really like that. Yeah. Like, because you're not going to break her. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so it's pretty interesting to see it on her workbook. All right, Jason's breaking when he's on the hill. Um, again, sinks the wing ball in. So y'all can see it. Teresa's right. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Rafi, that's pretty cool that I've, I'm seeing here that you had an early uh, blackboard four pointer. Then you bought the guy I met last night. It's his six point cue, which six pointers are always interesting to see. We had one uh, six point cue made by Toscarella. It was given to Eddie Abraham, and he played with this green and brown uh, six point cue. It was absolutely gorgeous. You just don't see him very often. And then you got a cue from directly from Tony in 2001, and I'm sure you cherish that, and that's so awesome, and I absolutely love it. But here we go, Jason. He's got a shot in the one. Like, well, he's going to play combo. You playing the combo, or are you trying to find a save? Uh, I'm trying to play a save. Yeah, me too. Oh, I mean, maybe run into the nine like that, but... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I would have been like, let me try and make another ball here. <laughs> so... I hit a couple of balls a little bit ago on his stream, and I told uh, Andrew, I said, we are terrible right now. Well, you I haven't said, played all day. making fun of us. And... Oh, the commentary? Yeah, I thought they were just Oh, it was colorful. Us. Was it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did. We got you a little bit. Uh, <laughs> I was all good. <laughs> <laughs> I like, actually, I liked watching you uh, stand next to the table while the other person was shooting. You were just, you looked pumped up. Like, I'm just... I'm, it didn't matter how you were playing. I thought you looked into baby shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like playing balls around. I think everybody that plays well has that air about them of yeah. like, look, I'm just going to play good. Like, even if I play got, bad, I'm still good. <laughs> I love it. We got a combo opportunity here. Ooh. He's gonna t you think he's going to take it? So, okay, you're up three to zero. You take this? Yes. Yes. Down because, three to zero. Because the way I'm shooting it. Agree. Or, I'm sorry, even down three to zero. Like, I'm That's shooting my question. Now. Yeah, both. The yeah. way I'm shooting this, too, I'm banking the two back up table. I'm running into the nine. There's a good save opportunity there, yeah. possibly to be, be behind the eight. I like that. I just got to make sure that when I hit it, I hit it firm enough that if I don't make the nine, I don't leave the it's nine. It's it. Yeah, it's exactly what I would have. Car oh, I'm sorry. I will combo that. You know why? Oh, I felt That's it. why. 
That's why. He actually hit a good speed. It just continued to roll. Yeah. If that didn't, I mean, maybe an ounce lighter. Yeah, he's I get behind, that. He's behind a nine, and Jason's jumping. I feel like I have so much more control with my combos compared to Karim, so that's like a personal preference for me. There are times I will play Karim. It's got to be dead nuts. So. I just... I, I was always taught never leave the the next object ball within eight inches of the nine. Yeah. That was just like a rule of thumb that I was always taught. Okay. Who are you top by? What's that? Who are you top by? Nobody good. <laughs> There's nobody good. Like, I just incorporated <laughs> myself. Okay. Um, actually, I was taught by uh, a good, good mentor of mine, uh, Kenny Carfagno. Oh, yeah, I know Kenny yeah. Carfagno. Kenny plays real well. Does he? he plays real strong. I yeah. only talked to him about pool cues. I've never seen him play. I don't know. He plays like... Uh, He's like Russian Kenny speed. Stop it. I swear to God, no lie. There's no way. I swear to God, no lie. Please oh, see, that's a bias. That's a judgment I've made in my head I'm, already. I know both of them. So, I mean, I'm. I, Kenny Carfagno. Yes, plays Russian Kenny speed. Like 700 plus. It, right now, he's probably he'd probably need him about a month or so. Well, okay, fine. I don't care. Even if you, like, for a day you played like a 720, like, you're always a 720. That's yeah. as far as I'm concerned, you know? So, that's crazy. No, he plays extremely strong this commentary sounds like it has a tequila accent to it <laughs> rafi you know what you're not the first person that said that to me i hope i'm okay <laughs> i think i'm okay a tequila accent what is a tequila accent i quit one shot two shot three shot four no i would hit the floor four shots one ago. shot two shot three <laughs> shot four <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you're laughing, funny guy. <laughs> Doing my best here. Really having a great time. Nice it's nice to. Yeah, it was a great shot. I hope if he wins this game, he rips his shirt off to reveal the Tuscarora logo <laughs> on his chest. <laughs> like the shape of like a Superman. Emblem. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Jason's playing good. He's playing real well today. Get out of there. Ooh. He's got a really good chance of getting out of this wreck. Three to zero. How hard are you hitting the sub ball? <sighs> what me, are you doing? Me, I, I just want to be. Here? I want to be right around center table, maybe about five inches cool. before the top. Are you thinking about what's the worst that can happen? No, I I know from here, all I got to do is just hit it. Don't ball. be on the rail. Yeah, just hit it. That's it. Ball. Yeah. That's all I got to do. Don't do that, either. You know what? He got fortunate. He got very fortunate. Even, this. even if he even if he made it, his leave is atrocious. That's okay though. It happens. You know, he didn't make it. Is what it is. Rafi, I think me and Rafi need to be friends on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Tequila accent, whatever. Rafi. Rafi used to play at uh, Drexel Line back in the day. I played at Drexel Line always like 13 old. years ago. He'd probably, he'd probably be there. He's I a, worked right up the road in Winwood. He used to go to all the tournaments. Every no time. kidding. You know what I loved at Drexel Line Billiards? What's that? Uh, their macaroni salad. <laughs> it was fantastic. <laughs> uh, oh, Pinto Pizarro. Here he is. Oh, he looks familiar. Robbie, that's a very direct um, comment. I think I know who you're speaking about, but I'm just going to keep that to myself. <laughs> Is he being an ass? He said I'm on Facebook. Not, not, not. Yeah, he's on Facebook. Yeah. I'm no saying not. Shit, uh, you're on Facebook. This is a Facebook uh, feed. Yeah. <laughs> I talk, I talk about his comment prior to that. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay. It says, it's not, yeah, we talk about us just having a good time. Sounds like a great fun time. Way better than some of those streams with boring commentary. Oh, I, <laughs> I have a feeling where that those shots are fired too as well. Ready on three. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not big enough in the business yet to take shots. <laughs> shots fired. You know what? Might generate a lot of views though. Yeah, <laughs> a lot uh, of Joe no Rogan bad, listening. No bad publicity. <laughs> Jason tries the bank there. Did I miss that ball? He, he looked a little just... Now, I've seen him keep his emotions in check, and he yeah. actually looked a little distraught after that shot. Well, he's got to be worried by the 3 nothing. Yeah, but here's where you do have to be worried, because this is when stuff Catch starts to yeah, turn. Yeah. yeah. you got to finish it. Like, there, that's it. That's your job. Oh. 
Oh, oh my god, that hit the inside of the pocket three, four times. Stay there. Yeah, just Ryan just not getting any luck this no, match. No, it's unfortunate too because in the loser I, side. And I watched him play really well all day earlier. Too. Yeah. yeah. He had, a, he had a tough match to put him in the B side, but other than that, he was playing real strong all day. Yeah, the people that win these are the people that are super consistent or have like just a momentary blip and get over it. Yeah. You know, then they go out and they can play. Oh, that's a good shot. He's going to get right on that my ball, I feel like. Excuse me, Jason has height, but might be a reach shot here for him a little bit. Yeah. He approached that ball like he wants to make it. He did. All right, Jason takes it down. I'm going to go get some envelopes. I'll be right back. And I quit because Rafi's making fun of me. 